Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I cannot wait to jump into today's crafting tutorial because I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these super cool glow in the dark freshies. So if you're ready to see how I made these, then keep watching. All right, y'all, so you're gonna need a few things for today's craft. You're obviously going to need all of your normal car freshery supplies. So some aroma beads with a mason jar, mica pigment powder, and fragrance oil. Now, I already have some beads that are cured and ready to go for this tutorial. And then you're obviously going to need your cord or elastic string, a pair of scissors, a non-stick pan to bake your car freshies on, and then some type of smell proof bag to put your car freshie in whenever you are completed with it. And then you're also going to need whatever cookie cutter or silicone mold that you're going to be baking your freshies in. So for today's video, I am using a metal cookie cutter, but I'm also going to be using my Halloween silicone molds. And then for today's video specifically, we are also going to be using some glow in the dark. This is basically just like mica pigment powder. The texture is like a little bit more grainy than mica pigment powder. And then some glow in the dark puffy paint. And then we're also going to be using some acrylic paint. So I'm also going to need a paintbrush. All right, I'm super excited to jump into this tutorial. So let's get started. All right, guys, so like I said, I'm not trying out all of these glow in the dark powders. I am trying this glow in the dark yellow green color with these beads and that's what I'm doing the Jack Freshy in. And then I'm also trying out this orange glow in the dark powder for these orange beads and I'm going to do the pumpkin cookie cutter for that one. And then I'm also trying out this white one that glows purple for these beads and that's going to be my little ghosty cookie cutter here. So I'm not trying all of these powders but I will link that pack that I got down in the video description below for you guys along with all of the other supplies that I'm using and then for our fourth freshie I'm going to be trying out this glow-in-the-dark puffy paint all right guys now technically I could you know bake the metal cookie cutter freshies together and the silicone freshies together but because they are all going to be different scents I'm gonna to have to bake them separately okay so I'm gonna do mr. Jack first I'm gonna put him in the middle with our roofing nail in there and then I'm going to pour in my aroma beads and then I just kind of level it out as best as I can with my fingers or spoon whatever you're using I do like to fill mine up all the way because they do shrink down quite a bit when they are baking. Okay, so now I'm ready to put this freshie in the oven to bake it. So I have my oven preheated to 300 degrees and I'm gonna bake this anywhere from 10 to 14 minutes or so. Usually silicone molds and the larger they are take a lot longer to bake, especially your first batch because the pan isn't hot yet. So this freshie is probably gonna take around 14 minutes, but the ones after that, might take a little less. Okay, I'm gonna put a timer on for 13 minutes just so I can keep an eye on it so that when this timer goes off, I can check to see when it's done and I'll show you guys how I do that. All right guys, so my timer just went off. So we're gonna check on this freshie and see if it's done. I can already tell by looking at it. It's not quite done. It could use another minute or two. You can kind of see how the edges are more like translucent than the middle of it. And you can kind of just tell by looking at the beads in the middle compared to the ones around the edge that it's not done. But the way I always tell is I just do like a little finger test and if the beads pull up with your finger, just like that, you see how they're pulling up with my finger when I touch it? That means they're not ready, it needs to continue to bake. So I'm gonna put this back in the oven and I'm going to set a two minute timer and then I'll check it again after two minutes and if it's still not done, then I will check it every minute after that until it's done, but I'm sure it'll be done after two more minutes. So that'll be 15 minutes total that this freshie is in the oven for. All right guys, so it's been another two minutes. So we're gonna pull out the freshie and check on it. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. So I can already tell by looking at that, that is for sure done now. But just to show you guys, we'll do a little finger test. 
and as you can see the beads do not stick to my finger so now i'm gonna let this one set and completely cool and we'll go ahead and get the next one ready to go in the oven okay now this one's ready to go in the oven all right so i set a timer for 13 minutes on that one as well so i'll be back in 13 minutes to check to see if this one's done okay guys so i just pulled out my apple freshie and before i let it cool because i didn't mention it with the last one um, I do recommend that you take a metal spoon or some other type of tool and just press down your edges that way you won't have to trim them later. I did forget to do that with the last freshie so I will have to cut that one by hand with some scissors but I try to remember to do this because it does save so much time and headache later and it also saves your poor fingers from ending up with a bunch of blisters like mine from making and trimming so many freshies but I learned this trick from a few of you guys here on YouTube that watch my freshie tutorials and you guys mentioned that little tip to me and ever since then i try to use it every single time i bake freshies so now that i've pushed all of those jaggedy edges down with that metal spoon now i'm gonna let this one completely cool down and we'll go ahead and work on the next freshie to put it in the oven and before i pour my aroma beads in any metal cookie cutter i always give it a tiny little spritz of nonstick cooking spray on the inside so that it makes pushing out the freshies later so much easier Okay, so I'm gonna put this one in the oven. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer for 11 minutes on this one, and then I'll come back and see if it's done by then. All right, guys, I think our little ghosty is done. So real quick again, I'm just gonna push down those jagged edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this freshie cool and get the last freshie in the oven. Okay, so last freshie, got our metal pumpkin here and I'm just going to put my nail in and then we're gonna pour our glow in the dark aroma beads in. Okay, so we're gonna put our pumpkin freshie in the oven and I'm gonna set the timer to 11 minutes and we'll check to see if it's done by then. All right guys, so while that last freshie is in the oven, we will go ahead and decorate some of our freshies. So I'm just going to take this silicone mold and I'm just pushing out that outer edge to loosen up the freshie in there, which just makes demolding it so much easier. And there we go. Hopefully you guys can see that design there. So first I'm going to pop out my nail by just pushing on it from all sides and then I just push it through and then pull it. Okay, so first I'm gonna take my green acrylic paint and I'm going to paint where you see this like drippy design on the poison apple. This is the freshie that is not glow in the dark, but I'm gonna be adding glow in the dark puffy paint over where we paint this green acrylic paint. I'm just using this as like a base coat so that the glow in the dark puffy paint can really stand out. And then anytime if I like accidentally paint outside of my design i just take a toothpick and i just kind of scratch it off it comes right off every once in a while i might have to get like a corner of like a paper towel wet but usually the toothpick does the job okay so now we are ready to add our glow in the dark puffy paint right over our acrylic paint because it is already dry it dried pretty quickly i'm just going to put this all over the green part of the freshie Okay, so there's our poison apple freshie. So I am going to set this aside so that it can completely dry and we will come back and check on this one in several hours. And we'll go ahead and move on to the Jack freshie. So again, I'm just loosening up the sides and this is the one that I forgot to push down those jagged edges. So I do have to trim these after I pop out my nail. So I'm just gonna take my handy dandy scissors and I'm just gonna go around and cut down these jagged edges. Okay, and we're gonna decorate Jack the same way we did in 
another Freshly tutorial when I got these silicone molds to test them out. So I'm just gonna take some black puffy paint and then I'm going to sprinkle on some black glitter right over where I'm putting the puffy paint for his eyes, nose, and mouth. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this one aside so that it can dry, and in several hours, once all that puffy paint is dry, we can come back in and brush off all of that excess glitter. Okay, so now we're gonna decorate our little ghosty. I'm just gonna pop him out of that cookie cutter, and because we did spray that cookie cutter, he just slid right out. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the elastic cord on my ghost freshy because the design isn't gonna like get in the way of the string. So I just put the two ends together, tie a knot, push that knot down to those ends. And then we have a loop that we are ready to put through our freshie. Okay, so now I have a little loop and I just put the rest of that cord through and then pull it. And then now we have a nice little loop to hang our car freshie from. And I'm gonna trim the little unraveled ends there. And for the ghosty, I'm just gonna put a little face on him with some black puffy paint. Okay, and there's our little ghosty all finished. So I'm gonna set him aside so that that little bit of puffy paint can dry also. And I just heard that timer go off for the pumpkin. So let's go ahead and check to see if that's done. All right guys, so the timer just went off on our pumpkin freshie. And I can tell by looking at it, it is definitely not done. It needs a couple more minutes. Yeah, the beads are just slightly sticking. So I'm gonna put this back in for another two minutes and then we will check it again. All right guys, so that second timer just went off and this looks done now, but we'll do our little test just to make sure. Oh yeah, that's good. So now I'm gonna take my spoon and just push down those jagged edges. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and let this freshie completely cool down before we are ready to demold it and decorate it. All right guys, so, so sorry, my camera battery died while I was decorating this. So I just took some black puffy paint and painted on this little jack-o'-lantern face. And just like we did with the little jack freshie over there, I'm gonna pour black glitter right over that black puffy paint. And there is our adorable little jack-o'-lantern freshie. So just like the other ones, I'm gonna set this one aside for several hours to dry, and then we will come back and brush off all of that excess glitter. So I'll see you guys in several hours when all these freshies are dry, and we will finish them up and then test them out. All right guys, so it has been several hours and all of my car freshies are completely dry now. So for the freshies that have the excess black glitter, I'm just taking a dry paintbrush and I'm just going to brush off all of that excess glitter. Okay, and there's our little jack-o'-lantern all fixed up, so cute. Now we're gonna brush off all of that excess glitter on the jack freshie. Okay, and then with freshies where your glitter is on the inset of the design, sometimes I like to take a lint roller and I'll just roll it across to pick up all that excess glitter on top, which as you can see, works like a charm. Now all of that excess glitter is completely gone and it is all on our lint roller here. So just a quick little tip for you. So now that one's done and we're ready to add our elastic to this freshie. So I just cut another 12 inch elastic and I'm just going to tie a knot towards the ends of the string there. And then I'm just gonna push my elastic through the freshie until it pops out the other side like so. And then I'll just pull it and then pull the rest of the elastic through that loop there. And again, we'll trim the ends. So now our Jack Freshie is all ready to go. Okay, and then here is our poison apple. So I'm just going to tie the elastic around this one as well. And now the elastic is on this one. So I am so excited to go test these out. So I'm gonna go set these freshies outside for about 10 minutes and then we will test them out and see how much they actually glow in the dark. All right guys, so I'm in one of my bathrooms in my house that doesn't have windows so that I could completely close the door and it would be pitch black in here so we could really see how these glow in the dark freshies glow. Clearly Jack is the winner and is like the most vibrant and glows the brightest. That looks so freaking cool. 
I absolutely love that. And then here is that glow in the dark puffy paint. As you can see, it's just not quite as vibrant as the glow in the dark freshy. So I probably wouldn't recommend the glow in the dark puffy paint. And then here is our jack-o-lantern. This one's supposed to be glowing orange and it does just ever so slightly. And then our ghost is supposed to be like a bluish purple, which it is clearly, but they are just not quite as bright as this one. So this one definitely wins and is definitely my favorite. But I also think, you know, driving around nighttime when it's it's like pitch black out after these have been hanging on your rear view mirror all day. Maybe they would glow a little bit brighter. So I think these are super cool, definitely perfect for Halloween freshies. And you just can't beat this one. I think I'll definitely be making more of this one for sure. How stinking cool. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think these freshies came out so cool. I will definitely be making more of these and I'll have to try out the rest of those glow in the dark colors. But as always, if you did like today's video, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then be sure to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.